Power outages across the Front Range impacted hundreds of thousands of customers over the weekend. At last check, about 3,000 customers in the Denver Metro are still without power. That's still a lot, and Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez spoke with people here going days without power in the middle of this spring snowstorm. Late into Sunday evening, Excel crews worked around the clock to return service to thousands who were still without power. We heard a loud boom, and then power's been out since then. For Tim Yeager and his family, they had been without power for more than 36 hours. Yesterday, my friend came over and he's an electrician, so he hooked up a generator directly to our uh, electrical box and we were able to do the fridge and the furnace. An outage unlike anything he's seen before. I think about the neighbors that don't have generators and those that can't cook food and that are elderly living nearby. We had about a million blankets on us last night. Across town in the Barnum neighborhood, Veronica Barella and her husband felt the effects of the outage for more than a day. It was, what, 28 hours that we were out our power. All while recovering from COVID. It's been very difficult because, you know, COVID makes you really sick and, you know, you need some heat. When it comes to why power is restored in some neighborhoods before others, Excel says it's simple math. We really work to go from high impact, high customer count, uh, and restore them and all the way down to the one on ones. Meaning if they can fix a line that will restore power to thousands of people, they'll do that first. Excel also says this storm brought on a different set of challenges. It was really heavy wet snow and so we had a lot of damage with trees hitting on power lines, poles breaking down and falling over. Excel says it replaced 124 poles as well as five miles of electric line. For Borella, the thought of preparing for a future similar outage is concerning, especially because of how costly generators can be. Well, the generators that, you know, kick in if the power goes out, they're, I think, three to five grand. You can get one for 500, but, um, you know, people shouldn't have to do that. A late spring storm with an impact felt across the front range. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.